Hey, I'm Decathlon Gamer. Welcome back to Recipe for Disaster. We are on episode number three. We are still in the second mission of the campaign. We've already completed the first objective, which is serve 30 tables. The second objective is to make 1800 and we're drawing pretty close. We only need a little over $300 left. Popularity. That's been the hard one. We were all the way down at 5%. We are now up to 26. We need to get that at least to 45. It'd be nice to get to 60, but it looks like we're going to hit 45 well before we... Or, well, after we make the 1800 we need, meaning completing all of the main objectives. Now, we could potentially try to hang on and keep going to get the bonus. I don't know what the getting the bonus actually does for us, so uh, for that, I think we'll kind of just call it good. As we begin our next day, one thing we've really got to watch out for is I did figure out how to get rid of the wall finally. So uh, the as we expanded the room had that interior wall that was just very much in the way that wall it's gone it's out of the way it's not there anymore and we've got a couple new chairs uh, and new lights and, and things of that nature but in doing those bits and bobs uh, we are eighty dollars in debt that's not a huge amount of debt but it is debt and we're gonna have to watch out for that as we go forward uh carl henderson has leveled up willing to pay more yes i like that thank you Still no customers. Come on. Come on, folks. 26%. We're not that bad now. You know you want to come in. You know you want to come in. Still no customers. Oh, my goodness. It's already 11 o'clock. We haven't had a single customer today. Uh, we might have to sell some things before the end of the day just to break even at this point. I mean, we're now $97 in debt. It's approaching noon, and we have not had a single customer. We are open. We're open. Come, join us. Come. I mean, look how good yesterday was. Finally, a customer. Uh, we do have a new recipe available. Let's go ahead and take that basic recipe for grilled smoked salmon. <laughs> first, first thing of the day, and we already have a fire. From somebody who is a level 5 cook. Grill is level 5 for us, and yet we keep having this happen over and over again. It's one o'clock and we have not completed one order yet, but here comes a whole bunch of customers. So uh, at some point we need them to uh, get busy. I don't know how well that popularity is going to be looking after uh, all these errors to open the day. Now we're busy. Amazingly, the stress isn't too bad at the moment. All things considered, that was just a horrendous start to the day okay we are more in debt than we were so we're gonna have to watch out for this because again at the end of the day ooh, look at those ratings nice we're up to 29 percent already we're down to six dollars in debt i think we are on the verge on the verge of uh getting a positive balance but again we gotta just watch another new request another new recipe okay sure uh, let's check our food storage and make sure. Six o'clock into dinner time. And we are finally getting to that point where we've... Oh my goodness. Every first meal is a fire. First lunchtime meal. Fire. First dinner time meal. Fire. And it's spreading. Your servers level up very fast, right? Max level, cleaning level up fast, but the cooks just do not. I've had no level ups in the cooking department at all, which is odd. We have tons of fires, but we don't level up. So what's the deal with that? Why? The, the balancing seems like it needs to be uh, adjusted. Like, it needs to be slowed down out here. You shouldn't be perfect at your job within a few days. And then it should be sped up in the kitchen. Another new request. Another new recipe. Super fried chicken. Grilled buttery smoked salmon. Okay, another one recipe. We have another one now on two. And it looks like we're going to need more refrigerator storage pretty soon. 
almost no dry food for this. But we don't have any money. In fact, uh, how are we doing on time? It's 919. We need to save some money. Save some money. Uh, how are we going to do that? Let's go build mode. And let's go de demolish. And let's get rid of a light. That's $60 back. That's still in debt. Go ahead and get rid of one more light there. Okay. Less ambiance, but uh, that'll get us back into a positive balance. Okay, there's five more. Still got a little ways to go, but not far now. We're, we're definitely trying closer. That's our end of day review for day six. Keeping the staff busy, ready to enter day seven. We do have some money. I think we can put a little bit back together. Into a new day with an ever improving reputation. Can we get people to come in a little bit earlier? It would certainly be nice. It would make a big difference. And there is, there's an early arrival. It's only 940. That's almost breakfast. Refrigerator capacity is full. So we are in need of uh, more refrigerators or rebalancing of our ingredients maybe that's the, the the ticker look at all these customers at 1050 this is much better than yesterday here's how we solve this situation bring it all down just a little bit there we go we've now served 60 tables finances part is just about to happen speaking of let's Let's raise some menu prices a little bit. All right, with a better start to the day, we'll see if we can actually make enough money to uh, to get out of the red before the day and not have to cancel a bunch of things because ultimately we're losing money on that. Already a fire. <laughs> and they got it out. And there's our 1800. And we're up to 35%. We're just 10% away from the goal. So we are getting pretty close. We have turned this thing around. Financially speaking, not so much. But at least we've only set the place on fire once today. Okay, we have a level up. Blair, somebody else finally. Uh, I like that. Fire, Fireproofed. Up to 39. It's climbing pretty quick today. And we have a positive balance at the moment. We still have to pay employees as the day goes on, but now at 48. Much better day. And second fire of the day, as we had just hit 41%, now just 4% away from our popularity requirement. But things are definitely going well. There's another level up. It's Carl again. Carl levels up over and over and over again. And there it is, 45 popularity. Wow, that was a big jump. Did we just get a bunch of level fives or something? I don't know. We went from 41 to 45 quite quickly. And that's going to do it for this level. So that's two missions in the books. Double trouble. Janice and Janice. <laughs> Let me say that again. Janice and Janice heard about the success you had with your uncle's restaurant. Seems your reputation is growing. Not bad for a newcomer, but don't get cocky. The twins have asked if you would help them set up their own business. They've purchased a small property and a tiny plot of land to get started. Both will be working with you from day one. And what they lack in cooking skills, they easily make up for in charisma. Although they look similar, Janice and Janice have extremely different personalities. Janice is hardworking but can be dismissive if you get on her wrong side. Ja Janice, on the other hand, is more laid back to the point of being idle, but her smile can brighten up even the worst kitchens. Expansion will be the key this time, not just with the restaurant premises, but also with its staff. 
This is a popular location, and Janice has already spent a ton of money on advertising, so you can expect a steady flow of customers. Remember, people around here love seafood. We are 20 minutes away from the ocean, after all. Starting money, five grand. Starting popularity, 10%. Wind conditions, buy two plots, have eight seated tables at the same time, make 1,200 in a day. Buy six plots is the bonus, so large expansion. Lose conditions, Janice or Janice quits or is fired, so we are stuck with the Janices. All right, here's what we have. Uh, we begin with this tiny, tiny little space. Plot one opens us up to there. It looks like we have this spot included. But plot one, plot two, probably going to need those immediately. Okay, well there's our two plots. I like plot three. Looks like plot five is cheap and easy. Uh, but saving plot six, I think we eventually want to buy up the other plots. Eventually. We need money to start this place up in the first place though, so let's Let's begin with that. Uh, all right, so obviously there's a lot of work still to do on this place, but we've got the basic structure. The kitchen is done. The bathrooms are, well, serviceable. There's no lights in there or anything, but it, it's ready. I only have one table, and now we're $200 in debt. It's only one table, but I think we've got to start somewhere with that. Uh, if the advertising thing is correct, we should have some customers. We should start bringing some money in. It's just not going to be a ton. Let's take a look at the menu and see what we have. Uh, okay, things are things are well priced, and we obviously need storage for all of it. Let's. That's a lot of things on the menu already. We have storage for two hundred. That should be enough. So it looks like we have enough storage. That's going to be another few hundred bucks, though, to get all of those ingredients, which means we need to get straight into this menu and charge a little bit more uh, for the goods that are here. I just hope that, you know, we'll be able to sell at least some of it. Prices. Prices will help recover money fast. <clears throat> okay, we are in debt. Yeah, I got it. Uh... There's three of us starting out. <sighs> Yikes. Uh, there's at least a level two on each grill or uh, each cooking apparatus. And we have plus ones because we bought good equipment. That's going to help. Maybe I need to hire one more like somebody for countertop and ser no serving is not going to be a problem and cleaning. They're going to be terrible at, but they'll get better. I think it's got to be just the three of us to start out, even though, like, say, Kenneth Robertson here looks good. But we have no money, and he's lazy. Oh, 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 that's... Okay, lazy would rather not work at all. Slow at cooking, loves to take long breaks, inspiring, annoying, <laughs> short views, annoying, party monster. Oh, my God goodness okay okay yeah we'll level up faster we've been through two missions and i've never leveled up once despite all the cooking we've done despite having level three and anyway uh okay <laughs> we're gonna have to start with just the three of us let's open All right, well, we already have our first customer in place, so that's that's good. That's a good start. But we bought that food, and now we are $580 in debt. That, I don't know how we're going to cover that today. We might have to sell something at the end of the day and then buy it back, which is going to continue to hurt our funds. I don't know quite how we're going to get that back. Maybe uh, clean out one of the restrooms until we can get a couple tables. I mean, that's one way to do it. Uh, Staff-wise, I'm paying those two, aren't I? Are they making money? They are making money. I'm 
immediately we get new customers in and I think that's what's gonna save us uh, and this time you know pay should be better we'll bring in about ninety dollars this time it's gonna help climb us out of that debt and make it serviceable and then of course as we get a little better off financially we should be able to add tables and, and actually get this place properly going I mean there's customer waiting outside looking at the menu wanting to come in but waiting it's actually kind of nice to have customers waiting for a change not the other way around I knew it was smart to only go with one one cooking apparatus in each uh, area that we needed uh, initially I probably could have could, done with one fridge and not two but too late on that part same with should have started with one restroom and not two but I didn't realize how close we were gonna be cutting it till all of a sudden we were right down and out of money that customer outside still waiting for a table we definitely don't have the money for me to throw down a second table though I think we're just gonna end up losing them does that hurt our reputation? Probably does. Maybe not. Oh, they're going to come in. Okay. Well, and there, there you go. That was a good profit. I mean, you know, in terms of the finances, salary, food, plus income coming in for these guys, that was good. I mean, we're turning a good, quick profit. It's just a matter of trying to get through this day above zero and not have to sell things off and then have to buy it again in the morning just to be able to operate. Better when it's not just one. One person at a table, I think we're kind of break even. When we have two at a table, we're bringing in an extra 60 bucks or something. It's amazing though, despite how poor of a start we have, we've already made two, 220 on the day. Uh, we're about to push that over 300. That's not too far off from that mark we need. That table needs to get cleaned. Oh, that table needs to get cleaned so bad. Let's slow this down. I always forget about that one. Uh, clean areas. There we go. Uh, two for the restroom. That's a problem. That's a problem. That's why you need two restrooms. Get out of there. Get out of there. Oh, and then they left. They paid at least, but that brought us down to 6%. Hey, look at that. We're down to 14 bucks though. And I quit on me with it. I, I was going too fast. I was going too fast. $14. That was it. We were in debt by $14. And we go bankrupt. N any any negative balance we got to restart the level okay well lessons learned about we did a little too much too early uh, I'll reset and we'll do it again I guess I could have easily covered that $14 all we had to do was sell that one sink and it's task done all right so this time we're literally one dollar in debt I have one full bathroom I have a toilet in the second bathroom and we have two tables to start this time instead of one. I think that should give us the kind of funds we need to finish off the bathroom with a sink uh, fairly early in the day and then build from there. Probably a third table before I then start adding the other kitchen equipment, which is our second fridge and our second dry storage. We want to get to three or four tables really before we kind of hit that point. So let's give it a shot let's open for business all right first customers in of course buying the food we didn't buy as much as what we bought last time but that brings us to 272 dollars in debt we've got to cover that off that that was the food getting us started so uh, we do have a little bit of ground to cover of course that other time we only had one table and we had pushed ourselves to what five six hundred dollars in debt some something definitely higher than what we have here so I think we definitely have a chance at making the money we need to uh, to get out of debt also the 
ambience of the area is certainly better. Where they're sitting, yeah, where they're sitting is fairly good. So they shouldn't be as upset as they had gotten the last time. Only one fire extinguisher, that's something I'll want to add a second to very early. And away it goes. Yeah, it looks like we'll get a bonus for uh, being quick there. And starting right away with three is good because, I mean, you know that that means we're going to earn at least a hundred. Uh, we're going to raise everything by about a buck or two. Can't believe after the last time it was a steady stream of customers. This time that we've had one table and it's one o'clock. So not sure what the difference was between this and that, but setup is nearly the same. Three customers coming in though really helps. I mean, you can see by the end of that, we essentially improved our financial situation by about a hundred dollars after those three. So uh, another three should put us at maybe minus 50. That'll help us by a small amount. Maybe bring us down to about $25, $30 in debt after we're done with these two tables. Now that was one problem we didn't have on the first go. We've got two tables to try to serve right now. They're both waiting on their food. No bonus for going fast. It was Janice. Good thing about having a little gap in between everything is there's no fire. That's for a second deep fryer, for a second grill, for a second stovetop. And we got both tables out, so that'll be four coming in. Hopefully they don't all need the restroom at the same time, but we do technically have two restrooms. They're actually all going to the one without the sink at the moment. Okay, there's one paid already. That brought us right back to that 150 where we were. There's the income, and now we're down to an eleven dollar debt. It's five o'clock. Gotta keep an eye out on that. We still need to make some money before the end of the day. Here comes one customer. This is a break-even point for the next couple of hours. Again, you can see kind of how we we push down by the time we do expenses. So she'll cover the the debt, but then they'll bring us in 100, 150. And that should get us at least $100 into the green. There you go. Ooh, that was only 35 She bought something cheap. That didn't, didn't take care of what we needed. But it's 7.30 here. This one will. That'll definitely get us out of the, out of the red. Right? Right? Yes. Oh no, all three of them need the restroom. You gotta be kidding me. All three? <laughs> and then they leave upset. That that's kind of infuriating how fast that happens, right? All at once, it's like, oh no. Really? I mean, three toilets, and they can't be patient to wait while wow, one. How many restaurants have three toilets? Not not many. Not many. But we survived. We survived our first day. They still had to pay finances. Yeah, yowzer, yowzer, that's a lot, but we did get through it. And unlike yesterday, where we were roughly $300 in debt at the start of the day, you can see we're $40 in debt uh, for our first round of expenses coming in, so... go already out of debt just through the first order of the day two more seated that'll push us even further get us in a better state ingredient discount that's nice gonna keep an eye on that kind of stuff for the finances the benefits of that and yes our break time seems to be over by this I need to move this so that break time is behind the kitchen
Well, we're up to 12%, and we have our first fire of the day. Down to $4 in debt, but with four customers seated at the tables, I think we should be in good shape here fairly soon. But man, oh man, Janice is taking a very long time to put this fire out. Nice. Three-star reviews. Three-star reviews are good. That's helping us out, for sure. We even have a little bit of money. Over $200 now. I'd like to get a little cushion. I don't want to spend too much uh, developing that little bit of a cushion so that we don't have to worry about whether we're breaking even on a day or not. It would be a good thing would be a very good thing uh, nice three more customers coming in that is gonna get us that's gonna get us that cushion hey I leveled up wow uh, cleaning Iron Man doesn't slow down when tired removes a hated action well we do have a hated action that's the serving though uh, let's get the cleaning skill one I think that's actually why I've leveled up, because I've been cleaning. Because I'm a level 3 cleaner now, I think I was only a level 2. We've had our second fire of the day already, our third in just two days of business. That part's not going so well. <laughs> we are quite bad with these fires. We have jumped to 14% already though, so we are making some progress. All three order the same thing, $42 each. Janice was nice, that's good. We're up to $350. I think that is good enough to get one key thing. We're up to a three and a half star rating and 17%. So we've had ourselves a good little day here. We're nearly halfway on our mark on what we need for a day. Tomorrow we might be able to add in a third table at some point. Uh, there's the first time we've got somebody at the third table. This is going to keep us even busier. Janice has leveled up. That's good. Uh, serving level five. Nice. Customers pay more when served by this employee. It's a random loved action. Customers will be willing to pay more. Oh, gosh, they're all good. They're all good. Uh, well, the silky voice is probably better than the international chef. It's a charisma bonus. We go around in a circle to get to that. <laughs> That's right there. Go around the trees. One for the restroom and a fire. A fire. With two fire extinguishers, it's that much faster to put it out. Hence the need for that. But this table of three, they need their food. Wow, I have leveled up again. It's cleaning level four. The cleaning is the one that's leveling up very fast. We're back into the profit range and it's still kind of early in the day, but not so much. I'm afraid to uh, add to this at this point. So we can seat up to eight tables at a time right now. That's three obviously max and we're gonna have to buy more plots Do another four tables and another fire the deep fryer over and over again what, what is our deal with the deep fryer are we that low on the levels janice fryer level three we barely have enough money right now but with these three tables if we get through all three orders without screwing this up which it's getting iffy it's getting iffy all three tables patience is fading this one especially uh, 
Oh, no, it's the other table, too. We aren't going to make it. That one's going to leave. They're going to be unhappy. But at least we're at the 24% mark. And we do have profit for the day. We do have profit for the day. We will be okay. They're going to leave unhappy. That order is not going to be ready in time. Ah, see. There you go. Drops us to 20%. I do need more employees now with three tables, but that was 12. That was all three tables full to the max, and we, we did not quite make it. Um, you can see we made it otherwise, bringing us to $400 for the day. That's definitely enough to uh, dress up this other table, so that that's a good thing. We'll finish that off. Uh, that is good. Gonna do, do, do Janice. Janice? Where did Janice go? Did she leave early? All right, folks, well, uh, we rebounded 21% there. We lost 5% with one table even a little bit early. So A, I need more staff. B, we can dress up that third table now. Uh, but keeping up with three tables is hard with the equipment we have with this number of employees. It's a bit of a struggle. It's cook time. It's waiting uh, on stations to be available. The deep fryer is the one we are using most often so i think a second deep fryer is the first thing we're going to need to add into that kitchen uh, to to keep things going but that's going to do it for this episode i'm Kathleen gaber like comment subscribe i'll see you next time have a good one be safe out there and bye for now